I am a proud member of the Blackfoot Confederacy. We are the indigenous land caretakers of the headwaters of the North American continent. One thing we all share and the reason I'm here to get today is because everybody in the living human family needs water to live. Currently on the Blackfeet Reservation, we have multinationals targeting our sacred sites. We have oil companies bringing in with them drug dealers, prostitution, a threat to our very cultural way of life. Our cultural way of life is older than the United States of America. It is older than the Canadian government. And it surely is older and more wise and more ancient in the ways of how you get along in a spiritual sense on earth than any oil company. Our indigenous systems of knowledge enable us to say, look at the whole planet, see the living earth, see all living be beings. We live in, in relationship with the natural environment. I want to protect the fens, the riparian, the riverian environments on the reservation. I want you to be able to come to my home and to see the only place on earth that you can see a particular flower in the Conley Fen on the Blackfeet Reservation. My hope today is that people start to understand Indian country, there needs to be an immediate moratorium on all drilling declared. And I ask this as an indigenous person, Familiarize yourself with the UN Declaration of Indigenous Rights, Article 7, that prohibits genocide. I told my family I did not want to say that word because it has power. We name things because of their action. The dispossession of our land has been historic, and hopefully they're still teaching that in school. But what I want to say, my prayer, the prayer of many of the Blackfoot Confederacy is that the headwaters of the continent are held sacred in your way and in my way and that they do not frack. My ancestors were here since creation and when your ancestors landed, the, the land was not destroyed. We prospered, we lived, we have an understanding of the environment that is ancient than any human science on earth. So I ask you, remember my community in your prayers and to join as allies, as brothers and sisters in the human family to make sure that the generations that come behind us have water to drink, the basic human right. And my sister told me that I must do this to honor all of you that have made. But thank you for letting me speak. This is our way to say we give victory because life is going to continue.